So welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we have the privilege to introduce to you this adorable 1959 Taylor Dunn Trident neighborhood car. And this car comes to us a very original car, still retaining all the Trident emblems, the original headlights, turn signals, bumpers, just a very nice example of these very rare electric automobiles and they were considered the neighborhood car and they were produced so that you could have quick, easy visits with your neighbors in the subdivision. So it's not just an adorable little ride, it's a great driving little unit as well. So now we'll grab the other camera and then we got a surprise for you in this test drive. Imagine if Tyler and Justin try to get this thing together. It would be that. It could be Tyler. It would be Justin. <laughs> All right. And we're off. We're off in the 1959 Taylor Dunn Trident R. This one horse is amazing. <laughs> Hannah, when he has it, she has the, I can't say gas pedal, because I guess the electric pedal down. Uh, we do max out at 10 miles an hour. So, yes, this car is all electric. They say the top speed is 20 miles per hour, but that might involve a hill push. <laughs> We seem to only get it up to about 10 so far. Yeah. As you can see, we're driving around the parking lot. We are a little fearful of going out onto Casablanca Street. Although it is street legal. It but is street legal. Yeah. Parking lot shall do. Yes. We do have headlights in form. <laughs> yes. It's a very uncomplicated car to use. There's a toggle for the lights and uh, turn those on that you can use the horn. Yeah. Turn signals. Turn signals. We've got turn signals. You have the pedal to make it go. And the brake. To make it stop. Door handles. Uh, it does not lock and there are no seatbelts. No. So. There is a lot of air noise, I will say. Yes. This isn't a quiet, if you're looking for a uh, quiet drive, it's... This isn't for you. Yeah, no, it's not for you. Um, there are no windows. Great. So... Top speed, here we go. All right, on floor. Don't hit your husband. More coins. <laughs> We're going eight miles an hour. Show the camera. <laughs> no, we're up to 10. There we go. Oh, okay. Now we're back to eight. So Taylor Dunn started out making golf carts. Um, and then in 1959, they made the Trident R. And I think they made that for two to three years. The R is for racing. <laughs> um, it is adorable. This thing is so much fun. It's absolutely just, you can't help but smile. It when is. You see it. It's just. All yellow and a blue top. Yes. Yeah. It should be in a car too, is what it should be, because it's just hilarious. We've looked it up and they say there's approximately 50 in existence left. So they made this to be like the neighborhood car? Yes. Yeah. To go visit your neighbors. They called it the neighborhood. So if you like your neighbors, this would be a great vehicle for you to <laughs> go up and down the street and say hi. If you're trying to get away from your neighbors, this isn't the vehicle for you. <laughs> 
says it has a range of about, what did it say, 50 miles? Yes. It's very roomy for us. Um, did I say there aren't, aren't any seatbelts? Yeah, no yeah. seatbelts. So, but it's a cute little thing, cute to take to your car show and get a look. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, for sure. I mean, everybody who comes in, what is this little thing? Yes, you would definitely win cutest car ever. Yes. So, if you want to, this little trident, one of a rare little vehicle, I suggest taking a look at this car. And it is rare. So, so take a look. Rock solid motorsports. So now that the girls have had their fun test driving this awesome 1959 Taylor Dunn Trident R, we'll go ahead and get her on to the walk around inspection portion of the test drive video. And this really won't take long. I mean, this thing is just so small. It is such a neat car, just a piece of like the electric automotive history that will come in and uh, your front, your plexiglass front windshield, I mean, is in very good condition, no heavy cracks. You do have some little scratches. Um, I won't point them all out. You do have like little scratches and like minor stone chips here and there, but no major defects. And actually all your stainless trim is in good condition around. You might have some nitpicky chips here and there, some scratching down here in about this kind of one inch spot, but it's all very intact. An original Arizona inspection tag. A lot of these are reproduction stickers from like uh, California State Park. So you do have some reproduction stickers just for added flair on this. But yeah, your lower stainless trim around the plexiglass window is in very good condition. Uh, rivets are all intact. I should just go around and show it all right now. Again, stainless upright is in good condition. Same with your stainless trim around the top of the windshield. As we get up, you do have like a little scuff in the plexiglass up here. And there's a crack in the paint at the front of the roof right there. But we'll come down and into like the front driver's side fender area. And the paint on this overall is very old. It is showing some wear here and there. But overall, still in presentable condition. You do have a touch up here just on the body edge. Your headlights nice and clear, your headlight baskets in good condition, shines nice and bright, showing a little bit of age, but not bad. You do have a little touch up just here on the outside of this headlight. And there's some, this car has been driven and enjoyed, so there's gonna be some touch ups and chips throughout. So I might miss some really small minor ones. You have a couple scratches here. You got a touch up on the bottom corner, possibly from turning too sharp. It is three wheeled, so balance is something to be aware of but your turn signals are nice and clear your lenses the surrounds are nice and bright your front bumper is there oh there is a crack yeah so there is a crack yeah at the bottom of that lens your front bumper is in very good condition showing just some slight age your front wheel is in good condition wheel and tire Actually, there's not too many stone chips to really note on the front end. You do have a couple little scratches in this area up here. Your Trident logo is actually in very good condition, shines nice and bright. You got a little scuff or something right here. Passenger side headlights, nice and clear. Again, headlight basket, very comparable to the driver's side. You have a little chip, just the very top there uh turn signal lens on the passenger side in better condition than the driver's side no cracks to note again nice and clear um eyebrow i just call it the eyeball molded eyebrows in good condition yeah i do have yeah a little actually this looks like thin paint almost like it was buffed through um so you do have a little touch-up chip here um, coming down lower on the trident you do have this area here that's been kind of touched up uh, if you do open the door too far it does rub there um, so that's what that's from you do have a little touch up here in the door 
a little bit on the body edge here. A couple little minor yeah, stone chip here, a little paint drip right here in the white. And all these defects, you don't really notice them until you get up on it. But you do have some cracking here and a touch up at the outside edge of the door. And another little paint chip here on the outside edge. But your factory latches work just like they should. They are pretty rudimentary. The knobs are showing some age. It, it does look very cool. But chrome is in good condition. Do have a couple little defects in the stainless. Inside of the door, don't open that too far. But oh, yeah. The interior appears to be very original. Your rubber mats in good condition throughout. What would be your dash is nice and complete, no heavy cracks. Your vinyl bench seats in very good condition. Showing some light age and staining here and there, but really not bad. Your roof's in very good condition, no heavy cracks in the fiberglass. So the doors open and close just like they should. And then we'll go, move on to the passenger side of the roof. And you do have just some scratches along the passenger side of the roof. Almost like something got stored on it at one point. Um, but no like cracks in the fiberglass itself. So actually the fiberglass throughout is all in very good condition. Actually the paint shows very well. You have a couple little scratches here, a couple more over here, and another little grouping back here. And actually a lot of these look like they would even possibly buff out. We got some reproduction, Taylor Dunn stickers, another kind of S scratch here in the paint, and a little scuff back here. Um, coming down on the quarter panel area, the rear quarter area, you do have a little discoloration in the paint, probably just some age showing. You have a handful of touch-ups. One little one in the white, this bolt here has been touched up. A little stone chip on this body line. Like I said, it has been enjoyed. It's still a great looking little trident. Little baby moon hubcap is showing some age there. This little electric car has some awesome lines. Definitely some great 50 styling. Your rear driver's side rear tail light lens is in very good condition, nice and clear, no cracks to note. The bezel's in very good condition. Your rear plexiglass is in very good condition. You have another little scuff. I think that would actually buff out. That's not even into the paint. It's on top of the paint. Uh, coming across the back, you do have a little touch up here. And some minor defects in the paint here and there. Nothing major. A little scuff here above the passenger or the driver's side tail light. And the tail light lens, again, very good condition, nice and clear. No cracks to note. Your bezel's in very good condition. Your license plate light is showing a little bit of age, but not bad. This bolt's got some touch up around it. Again, you have a little bit of that age and discoloration of the paint down low. Got another little chip here below the compartment door, which we'll go ahead and open up and show you inside. If I can find the right key. There we go. Inside your door is in very good condition, no heavy cracks. You got some little touch up and stuff around the opening, which is typical. You do have your charger, which is very handy. Yeah, not a whole lot of storage in here. You have some 
stuff that's included with the sale, the wiring diagrams, some spare parts from over the years, old registrations from previous owners. But yeah, nice and clean in here. No defects in the fiberglass, all your wood's nice and intact. No moisture issues. And that charger, of course, does come with the car. Charges a 24 volt system. But your rear bumper is in very good condition. You do have, looks like a little chip here. And you got some age kind of throughout, just like the front bumper. I have to get up on it to really notice it. And coming around the driver's side of the rear of the top. Again, you have some little scuffs and light scratches in the, and a lot of these, again, would probably buff out. One here, you got another little defect here. The scratch here. A little handful right here. Another one up here. This was a little crack in the paint here. It's just in the paint and not the fiberglass, it appears. And just a handful. Like I said, I might miss a couple here. I mean, the paint on this is older. So you'd expect some wear and defects here and there. Coming down on the driver's side rear quarter, you got some scuff, very light scuffs in the white. Uh, again, we probably buff out. You got some touch up around this bolt here. A couple little touch ups. So nice reproduction, Taylor Dunn logos down low. Your baby moon on the side presenting better. Then the passenger side, still showing a little bit of some nicks here and there, but not bad. Again, the fiberglass on this is in all in excellent condition. No major defects to note there. Your driver's side door is in very good condition. And again, just some minor. This is like a little defect in the paint. A little stone chip here, touch up down here. And again, in the front, if you open the door too far, they will make contact and there's some touch up there. The company driver's side door opens up just like it should. Knob again, showing some age. The inside of the door is in very good condition. Have a little crack and age in the paint right there. We come inside to the driver's side, your steering wheel is in good condition. It's nice and complete. You do have some age cracks here and there chrome insert around the horn button showing a little bit of age as well as your the stock for your indicators reach in so as you can see your horn works so this switch here is your master switch that controls your lights, your signals, your horn puts power to all of those. With it down, none of the lights are on, the horn will not work, but you can still drive it. Get Hannah to show down here. This is where your key, right now in the on position, this is off, key comes only out. And when the key is off, actually that's on, this is off. Oh, backwards again. Yeah, when it's off, it locks your transmission. Turn the key on, then, Turn it to the left to forward motion. This way for reverse. Very simple, very, probably the same drive mechanism in their golf carts. Cause that's where Taylor Dunn did get their start. But I'll go ahead and get on in it. Now I'm actually gonna sneak in the passenger side. I fit a little better going in that way. And for anyone of size, I would say I'm, I'm just under six feet tall, about 230. So I would recommend getting in the passenger side to give yourself some extra room. But go ahead and get in. Show you some lights working. I'm just gonna show you some lights working. It's your running lights, headlights, driver's side turn signal, passenger side turn signal. And then we'll show the back. There's the running lights. 
and your brake lights. There's the driver's side turn signal and the passenger. And you can see the license plate light works. So yeah, if you're in the market for just a seldom seen piece of automotive and electric EV history, I mean, this is something you can take to the cruise in. You're probably going to have the only one there or just drive it around your lake house or just your neighborhood and just watch all the thumbs up and smiles of your neighbors and just an awesome little piece of automotive history and one that you just don't see very often you're not going to have very many opportunities to buy again so you definitely want to take a very close look at this 1959 taylor dunn trident r rock solid motorsports